This is Trade Flow News, bringing you relevant news and insights from around the world. Trade Flow News, enabling trade for SMEs and economies worldwide. These are some of the key topics that we will be looking into in today's program. First, let's take a look at the overnight headlines which are impacting the commodity markets. The International Energy Agency, IEA, kept its 2024 global oil demand growth forecast unchanged on Tuesday but trimmed its 2025 estimate, citing the impact of a weakened Chinese economy on consumption. The report from the IEA, which advises industrialized countries, is the second this week to flag that a sluggish economy is likely to curb demand in China, the world's biggest oil importer and second biggest oil consumer. Weak growth in China, following the post-COVID surge of 2023, now significantly drags on global gains, the Paris-based energy watchdog said in its monthly oil report. Greater operating efficiencies in the top U.S. shale patch are squeezing out more oil without higher spending, according to the latest output numbers which will boost global oil market supplies as OPEC also plans to unwind its output cuts later in the year. Producers are extending their wells to as much as three miles, squeezing more wells onto a single drilling pad and fracking several wells at once, boosting production, according to industry experts and company executives on recent earnings calls. Taken together, these efficiency gains have led several big producers to raise their full-year shale oil production targets. Chevron lifted its full-year Permian output target to an about 15% gain, up from an earlier forecast of a 10% gain. Moving on to the top news in the energy sector. Oil prices were stable on Tuesday after five straight winning sessions as supply risks posed by widening Middle Eastern conflict were tempered by demand concerns a day after OPEC cut its forecast for demand growth in 2024. Benchmark Brent crude futures were down 44 cents, or 0.53%, at $81.86 a barrel as of 12.20 GMT. U.S. West Texas Intermediate Crude was down 34 cents, or 0.42%, at $79.72. Downside potential in oil prices could be limited as geopolitical tensions persist, contributing to market uncertainty and supporting crude prices, said Li Zing Gan, financial market strategist at Exynos. Saudi crude oil exports to China are set to fall in September to about 43 million barrels, several trade sources said on Monday, citing monthly allocations for term buyers. September exports from the world's top exporter to China are estimated to slip by about 3 million barrels from a revised volume of about 46 million barrels in August, the sources said. Saudi Arabia is the second largest crude supplier to China the world's top oil importer and biggest contributor to global demand growth. Slowing oil demand growth in China is one of the key factors that have been capping global oil prices. Next, we have the top news in metal markets. Copper prices pulled back on Tuesday after three sessions of gains, burdened by surging inventories and lackluster demand in top metals consumer China. Copper paired losses, however, after workers at BHP's Escondida copper mine in Chile decided to go on strike after failing to reach an agreement with the company. Three-month copper on the London Metal Exchange was down 0.8% at $8,959 per metric ton in official open outcry trading, after rising 2.9% over the previous three sessions. Singapore iron ore futures prices fell for a second session on Tuesday to hit their lowest in nearly two weeks as faltering demand amid steel output cuts in top consumer China outweighed support from some short-covering activities. The benchmark September iron ore on the Singapore exchange was down 0.36% to $98.95 a metric tonne, as of 0702 GMT. It hit the lowest level since July 31 at $98.25 a tonne earlier the session. The most traded January iron ore contract on China's Dalian Commodity Exchange ended daytime trade flat at 734 yuan and 50 fen, $102.39, a ton, after rising more than 1% earlier in the morning. We will now look at the top news in the agricultural sector. Malaysian palm oil futures closed at their weakest level in more than seven months on Tuesday, hurt by weak exports so far in August and soft arrival oils, although lower inventories put a floor on declines. 
The benchmark palm oil contract for July delivery on the Bursa Malaysia Derivatives Exchange fell 0.51% to 3,689 ringgit, $829.73, a metric ton, ending at its lowest since January 5. Cargo surveyor Societe Generale de Surveillance estimates exports from Malaysia for August 1-10 at 489,898 metric tons, 13.2% lower from a month earlier, according to LSEG. That is all for today's news on commodity markets. Stay tuned to Trade Flow News as we continue to provide you with more updates. We also invite you to follow us on Twitter at Trade Flow News, which allows you to watch our program on your mobile device or desktop to receive information from there.